So I was going to do Grave Horde, but I decided not to. Uh, I went to here, because there was a flower here, but there's one house to have you. So you can take them out first. Or maybe the ones here, but that's what I did. Uh, so I'm going to do the next thing.
Yeah, some easy shards here. No chill, bitches. This has to be the Benutrius that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? The machines are docile. Some it's other lyrics like after our been overridden. We'll claim first blood, but it will require training. Machines. Up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. A challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. Pfft. What is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here, too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. 
not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world? The hunters, they don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, it's singing done. Perhaps the spirit left its great shell. Or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. We should head north. North, where the ice and snow falls. Tomorrow we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machines here. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it.
wish your rear rack on. This is how the Banuke must have gotten up and down the mountain. Soaked from melted snow. I don't have such as waiting. Sorry, I guess. can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an animal. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. But we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. The ropes are full, you bunch of chuff skulls. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you ever given me is black toes. They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp. Before the machines tear it apart. Attacking. The hunt is back. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Yes. Run and rend at me. Defend the I don't fear it. Do what you must. Now 
you'll hear my song machine. A sharp song. I don't understand. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osram thought. The Osram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. But more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say... The secret is... Taking one step... Then the next. Perhaps one day... We will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Ouch. Ouch. Figurine. I think it's Banuk. Uh, 
such a quest. Turn to vigor. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Are you looking for... Wait. I know your face. <laughs> you came back. <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines. It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here. Take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Card just silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders. I'm talking about lives. That's what the orders are for, to save lives. Good day, citizen. <coughs> Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The sun king warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will. Oh, thank you. Oh, please. Be careful. Those machines are deadly. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. 
She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long-legged lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh, no market for a snap maw lens. It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap my lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Oh, both so. Bring us your metal. I have a snap mall lens to sell. Excellent. Here's your payment. What a beauty. Beauty? You only know that word when you're bringing them home from a tavern. Your objects of art won't pay our dues. I'll tell you why. Because artists are always poor. Might as well hang that snap maw lens around our necks. There's a dozen hawkers selling them upside. You wouldn't know supply and demand if it was written on the backs of your hands. I'll make you a deal. Just keep going. I'll make you a deal. The last thing I'll... They just keep going. I'll make you a deal. They just keep going. I'll make you a deal. The last thing I want is you making any more deals today. If you don't see sense about this snap maw lens, you don't have to admit. I had my boxes.
Sometimes I wish I'd sign up like for the Vanguard. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. 
from hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon does seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suck. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Move along. You have no need to loiter around here. This must be Ronamon's family estate. What made these machines attack without warning? I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. Tell me what happened when the machines attacked. There were screams. I came running. The Ravager ripped through the guards like dolls. My father pushed me into the larder. I heard him kill Watcher. Then, blasts from the Ravager's cannon. Silence. 
I tried opening the door, but he'd locked me in. He saved your life, and I'll never be able to thank him. Do you have any idea where the machines came from, or why they attacked so suddenly? We've been seeing more and more machines around here every year. That's why my father hired more guards. But they've never attacked like this before. I have no idea what caused it. Stay here. I'm gonna have a look around. I will. I need to take a moment with my father. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. Someone might have put it here deliberately to draw in the machines. Did your father have enemies? Reineman, my brother. First there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when my father kicked him out. It was Ronamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. We can't let him. That murderous snake. You can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. <laughs> have you no honor? No, oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. As for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing myself. <laughs> I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. Thank <laughs> you. 
Seems I'm nearby. I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll do the good option. I think I'm in the clear.
I know I'm here. 